Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here, back and ready to finally doing a review on my channel. And I'm, I had to apologize for the long, hard, hot weeks of absence where I had to concentrate posting on all my commercial breaks on my channel, as usual. But I had to take some time to relax and have fun, you know, just watching some movies and shows. You know, going out, you know, getting some gifts that I have for my birthday. Yeah, because I just received an Amazon gift card, so I finally got to get some movies that I want and some shows. I'm also wearing my brand new Snoopy t-shirt. Yes, it's in pink. I wore pink shirts before when I was a kid. Even though pink is a feminine color, I know. But guess what? Boys can wear pink shirts too, okay? It doesn't mean that you're gay. I mean, even though June is Pride Month and all. But it is a very wonderful shirt. We have Snoopy, you know, at Hawaii. Yeah, he's wearing the Hawaiian necklace. You know, just running around. You can see those beautiful palm trees. And it says Snoopy on the background. And it even says since 1950. Because... This is the time when Snoopy was introduced, which happens to be Charlie Brown's very special man's best friend, dog. <laughs> and also, you know, take some time to go out to see a movie. And um, not to mention, because of finals going around, uh, my sister had to work so hard you know, with her paintings and, and all, and her art work that she's doing that we had to celebrate her 30th birthday last week and she finally had received a gift that she's been waiting for for so long and that is a brand new 2022 Toyota Prius Prime electric car so now she gets to go to so many places whatever she wants you know she gets a shop she gets to go out to see movies go eat out do everything all these fun activities on this beautiful, luxurious car. Yeah, I mean, it, it has everything that you can control. I mean, even though you got to recharge your car within two hours, maybe less or so, maybe even more, so you'll be able to save up all the gas mileage because gas prices are getting really high these days, yeah, including in California. Yeah, in some places too. But we are going to keep um, our previous car, the, the Yaris, that we had for 11 years. And that's going to be for my mom. So she'll be able to drive around doing all of her fun activities and stuff and errands. Take care of things. But the car that we now have is very beautiful. You know, you can actually put cup holders uh, on your seats. You get to recharge your smartphones. You, you get to like have a spacious, uh, comfortable uh, leather seat so you can relax. Yeah, it's a two door, and once you turn on the car, you know they have a UPS in here, and they have a GPS in there. You can even listen to satellite radio or any other kind. It's just incredible. Plus you have air conditioning too, <laughs> to put on fully brass and all. It's just wonderful. So this is the perfect car for us and for, for my sister too. I mean she did, she really deserves it for all the hard work she's been doing. Anyway, with that aside, I'm finally going to do Another peanut special that I haven't reviewed in a while. The last one I did was a Mother's Day special back in May called To Mom and Dad with Love. That was from Apple TV Plus. Um, this just came out earlier on April 15, 2022 in the tradition of Arbor Day, Earth Day, during the springtime. This is already passed already, so I'm sorry I was late on the game here. 
Um, but it is still available on Apple TV Plus. Uh, you can stream it. You can even watch it somewhere around everywhere you go. Um, it's called Snoopy Presents. It's the Small Fiends, Charlie Brown. Uh, this time, Charlie Brown is determined to win the big baseball game, but it turns into a fiasco just right before he was going to hire uh, Sally to join the team, where she ends up bonding with this tiny little flower, which is a dandelion, that's, that's sprouted around on the pitcher's mound where Charlie Brown usually uh, stands to pitch and battles to protect it at all costs. So hopefully, you know, nothing goes completely harm. Anyway, and in some ways, it is like it's an Arbor Day Charlie Brown, but I would definitely say this is way better than that. Because I know we can see the similarity to it, but it also shows the importance of protecting the environment. So we want to keep everything safely and not destroy. And it really shows that that even smaller people like Sally, you know, deserves a lot of uh, care and attention and and one another. In fact, they had a, uh, a campaign uh, for peanuts called Take Care with Peanuts, which is, indicates, you know, how to take care of the earth and the environment around. Yeah, they've been playing, like, constant clips of it on YouTube, um, as well as the Snoopy channel as well. And, yeah, I know, I've been sharing that a lot on my Facebook channel, so it's really cool that it shows the importance of to take care of yourself. And I'm glad that they went for this special for this reason. And I agree. I mean, I think we deserve a better special that deals with environments and all. You know, for all the trees, the flowers, um, the grass, everywhere. You know, we need them for survival. You know, people even make food out of them, too, or any other. But we don't want them to, to get destroyed. Because without them, there will be no air and oxygen. There won't be anything on Earth. We won't be able to live. Think about that. It will be like a horrible time on our lives. So we want everything to survive. You know, to have a new life. So anyway, so let's begin. It stars... Tyler Nathan as Charlie Brown, Terry McGowan as Snoopy, Hattie Craigton as Sally, Rob Tinkler as Woodstock, Lexi Paris as Pepper and Patty, Isabella Leo as Lucy, Wyatt White as Linus, Holly Gorski as Marcy, Caleb Bellavance as Franklin, Natasha Nathan as Patty, Charlie Boyle as Violet, Jacob Sully as Pigpen, Maya Matsavelek as Frida, Matthew Mucci as Schroeder, Jackson Reed as Feitbolt, Will Bayanaya as Sherman, Jacob Mazawa as Jose Peterson, Lucas Magayan as Floyd, Beatrice Schneider as Lydia, Maria Nash as Adora, and even Shepard Greenhow as Five. Now, there are other characters that are featured as cameos um, on this special, but I'm not going to mention all of them, but let's keep it that way. It's written by Joss Saltman, which the story was created with uh, Craig Schultz, along with Brian, and Cornelius Utano. And it's directed by Raymond S. Percy which is based on the comic strips from Peanuts by Charles M. Schultz. The special begins when Charlie Brown just had a wonderful dream that he was at the baseball field, a huge crowd all around cheering for Charlie Brown's uh, 
baseball team as he joins his friends to beat against Peppermint Patty's team. He just threw the last pitch while Peppermint Patty was at bat. He had blowing some bubble gum, a swing and a miss, and finally they won the entire baseball game. The entire crowd was cheering for victory, yeah, chanting, Charlie Brown, Charlie Brown, Charlie Brown, until he woke up with a splash of the watering hose that Snoopy was trying to control to fill up the entire swimming pool so he could take a dive and make a splash with Woodstock and his birdie friends. <laughs> yeah. Next, uh, Charlie Brown decided that this would be the perfect time to finally beat Pepper and Patty at their own game. And hoping that this will be the right time. So they had to take some practice and confidence. Meanwhile, Pepper and Patty had showed up um, on her motorbike along with her friends and Marcy riding around on her regular bike. Hoping the plan to finally continue uh, you know, winning all their games because I know they've been losing many times. This time Charlie Brown also made a promise to, to his sister Sally that she'll be able to join his team. The problem is though is that she's too small but she just turned five so maybe this might work out. It, it didn't however because she had trouble trying to you know swing at bats, you know, making a pitch you know, running between several bases, you know, first, second, and third, all the way to having to run as fast as she could and try to make a slide, but she was out. And it's also a disaster because once she tries to hit uh, the ball, it just goes out of control. Everyone misses the catch, accidentally hits Shermie while he was having ice cream, or even hits... Uh, Frida uh, with the grape soda pitcher. <laughs> he got over her uh, natural curly hair and she was a mess and so on and so forth. But even the entire Sandlot field is, is already a mess. And also because Charlie Brown was having the team spirit to finally be able to earn this pendant that's going to hang around onto the flagpole. There's only one pendant left and it's already starting to fall apart but if they end up earning more pendants that this is going to hold up <laughs> for sure but they just couldn't hire Sally for sure they knew this was going to not going to work out at all I mean even though Lucy is kind of the worst baseball player <laughs> that maybe they, they do need to trade her off <laughs> Well, they did do that in, in that special. So, after that fiasco, before the matchup, Sally eventually starts to bond with this tiny flower known as a dandelion. It's a weed, of course. And it just grew directly through the pitcher's mound and decided to protect it at all costs. You know, making contact and showing that, just like Sally, you know, all small things should be, you know, taken good care of no matter what happens. So she had to spend all day and all night taking care of this beautiful flower. But that kind of leads to a lot of distractions. So Charlie Bond decided maybe they'll start doing some practice, hoping this is not going to affect. But of course, <laughs> there's a lot of gags going around where where Sally was trying to protect the flower by using an umbrella and then <laughs> a tennis racket by hitting the baseball and it just bounces off <laughs> and causing more accidents uh, they almost was ready to give up too but all things considered I mean Pepper and Patty just want to continue with the game hoping this is going to be the best time of their lives but and to becoming the worst because after that she was about to forfeit the game but Charlie Brown decided you know what because 
she's she's gonna keep spending all day and all night, you know, taking care of this wonderful flower, while the entire gang are already getting up to her to actually be able to build a garden, you know, with roses, a lot of flowers, you know, a lot of trees and all to make this uh, entire field special. Well, th there's even this one special song which is the original title song, It's the Small Fiends, Charlie Brown, that looks so colorful. Charlie Brown has nothing better to do than to just go straight to tell Sally to see if maybe there's a way they can move the dandelion to put it into the flower pot so he'll be able to continue with the game. But Sally refused to let go. He had no other choice but to pull it out right out of the pitcher's bound. Sally tried to stop him, but it was too late, because once it was pulled out, out of the pitcher's mound, all the, those weeds that came out of it, it eventually died. And he felt really bad about that. That, I guess he pretty much blames himself for, for what he did. Because he's been mostly concentrating on the baseball game that he'd been wanting to win for so long. I mean, he never had a chance. But he realized that he learned his lesson that it's more important than a baseball game is to care for one another. Something that's very small. And it's great that now he felt bad for Sally, and he definitely cares for her no matter what. And then soon the dandelion had grew, becoming bigger and better. Now supports a new life. Yeah, because you can even blow it straight through the wind. So to make things uh, better for him and for Sally, was to finally um, put everything together back in its place on this brand new baseball field. Yeah, with all the flowers blooming, a lot of gardens around. They even fixed the fences and everything. And they even dedicated to a brand new baseball team that he created called the Dandelions and hired uh, Sally as the assistant manager. So now, they can manage the entire game, whatever they win or lose. Well, who knows what's going to happen. It's a very wonderfully sweet special, and it definitely shows the importance of protecting the environment. And the biggest importance of them all is that big changes can happen to smaller things. And this really shows that Sally like Charlie Brown, is as an outcast as she could be. But no matter what she does, she will always find something that's important to her. Just like Charlie Brown's importance to baseball. So, for a brother and sister together. Yeah, I mean, just like me. And, you know, I care for my movies and other stuff. and. My sister cares for her art, her video games, and other stuff. And the animation is just wonderful, beautiful. I mean, there are certain scenes in the in the special where it kind of resembled to A Boy Named Charlie Brown, the movie, where they show shots of um, all the split screens when they were playing baseball. And then it kind of goes for a more... Um, hippish look, <laughs> if you say so myself, where the entire Peanuts gang had gathered around. Uh, they were trying to uh, make sure things will help. Uh, there's even one scene too where when Charlie Brown was trying to go have a psychiatric advice for Lucy to see if maybe she'll be able to help um, Sally out to get out of the, the pictures now. She wants up just sitting there you know, trying to get 
pair of eyes to see that that this is more important <laughs> in life. Um, the original song, the um, "It's Small Fins Charlie Brown," was just very cute. I mean, it's very colorful too. I mean, the way the animation kind of blooms too, with natural colors and how they got all the characters together and how it really moves around, you know, with flowers blooming and all. I love how they really use all that technique to put it in. And not to mention, um, the song at during the end credits was sung by an American uh, folk singer, uh, Ben Folds. He sung the song for the movie Over the Hedge. <laughs> and I think it's really sweet that they work for this particular special. In fact, this is exactly what It's an Arbor Day Charlie Brown should have been in the first place, rather than just being just your actual standard uh, peanut special. But I can see what they're trying to do. Yeah. And it's also nice to see some of the other characters, that even ones that we never saw before, but they're joining all in for the action. <laughs> There's even funny moments, too, when Snoopy was trying to... <laughs> climb up the window, um, trying to get the cookies just when Charlie Brown was was uh, checking to see what Sally was doing all day and all night protecting the flower. Yeah, she's like hanging around like, like it's her best friend. And then suddenly Charlie Brown accidentally uh, <laughs> closed the window while Snoopy's uh, nose got caught. <laughs> That was crazy. So anyway, that's it's a small fiend for Charlie Brown, and I give the special four and a half stars. I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.